on come to the knowledge that the big problem we are facing in our free energy generator design is lens effect. What causes this drag and how do we eliminate it? That's the question. It is easier to solve a problem when you know that that is the actual cause of the problem and what your problem is. So today, from this design, you see what we are doing, what we try to do today is we have come to the knowledge that if we want to reduce the lens or the drag effect, we must provide an alternative route for the reactive force, the flow in the system. And another observation we made is that when your system is actually producing high current or when the, there is much current in the system, maybe in your core, it tends to produce more drag, just like your generator and you know, your motor design. You generate or you have more torque when there is high current flowing in the coil and lesser speed. But you tend to produce high speed when there is a, a, a reduced number, a, a reduced amount of current flowing in the system. So here we are having come to the knowledge that actually current has a lot to do with the reactive force which is the lens effect in our generators so here instead of using a thicker gauge wire we decided to go with this tiny gauge about 32 gauge wire so this you produce about close to 300 tons each of this coil. Now with these 300 coils, what we have in mind is to produce higher voltage with lesser current so that the number of current, the amount of current flowing through this wire will be reduced while we are operating on a higher voltage. Secondly, from this setup, when you observe this V-shaped core, that if we try to connect this wire to a battery here we give you north pole the center we have a north pole effect while the outer parts of it we give you a south pole effect that means you have two poles facing the same area now Assuming this magnet we have here is a south pole. As the south pole is approaching this without any induced current inside here, this thing will be attracted and because of this attraction, current will be produced here and as the current has been produced here, we return to since here is giving you the north pole effect you now have the south pole thereby if this is a north pole you have both attractive and repulsive force acting on the same magnet thereby cancelling each other that means this magnet will flow freely without the effect the reaction of this or to this core. So let's see how this works out and how we can improve this system. Here we, we attached also a U-shaped core to this magnet so that if here is a knot automatically this place should produce a south effect coming down to the north here so 
at each point in time, the magnet, the magnetic flux will cancel each other despite the reaction from the coil. So remember the secret we have we we will try to we will try to reveal in this video is that when the lesser current is flowing through your wire, the lens effect is always on the low side. So let's couple this and see what we are talking about. These are flywheel or fixed and glued with magnets different sizes and shapes to alter the drag effect so this is this is this is a washer trying to fix this up so yeah it is ready and from this, you can observe the free movement of this coil of the flywheel. The flywheel is moving freely, and this is these are the LED bulbs we attach to it. We have one here, one here, there's another one here. There's Okay, four for this place. So let's spin it and observe what will happen. As you can see, with little or no force, something is happening. Everything is everything is working. You can see just little push so this system can actually give us something we can when we look at this and study it well is something we can think of way to expand it the lens free alternator no matter the amount of current flowing, the target is get the voltage high enough and then connect the whole setup. You see that there will be minimal drag since we are operating more with voltage and not current. And also the setup there is giving us something we can share about a smaller gauge wire with large number of turns. Remember the position how to why we use this transformer core to make this just to provide an alternative route for the drag so this time we'll try to connect a pulse motor to this system this the trigger coil though while we were experimenting on this stuff we had a challenge with the, the whole effect switch so with this we know that when we get stronger hall effect that will move this we'll try to show you everything you need to know the input and output power consumed by this system and the over units we are talking about that is inherent in this design so this video is not just for just to showcase, we try to inspire you to know that together we can actually solve our problems that has been identified. Together we can 
know what to do and how to go about challenges facing our age. It is it's gonna be a sin if we fold our hands and believe that we can do nothing. No, we have a lot to do, and you can see we are doing our part. Wherever you are, you can still do your own part. All we want to do is get the knowledge, share it. We believe we can actually replicate this and get something better than what we've done. That is actually the focus and the goal of this project. All we are here to do at JF Green Energy Concept is keep you thinking, keep you inspired, keep you motivated and always make sure we make our world a better place and also for the unborn generation, you don't tell them you love them while you contribute in a global energy crisis and environmental destruction effect we are having these days. We must look for alternative routes, alternative ways of generating clean and greener energy. That is the only hope for the next generation. I believe with this, we are, we are heading somewhere. As you can see how free this is. So for you to have designed a system that can generate power like this. And, and it's very free. You know we are up to something. So I say thank you. For watching remember to be grateful don't forget to subscribe and follow us on facebook even as we march on our way to freedom thank you god bless